Hi everybody, I'm Lee and thank you for having me at uh, the CMO chat. I am the CMO at Net Company. What does your company do? Net Company is an IT company. We deliver very complex IT solutions to governments, to businesses, uh, all over Europe, actually. So we are founded in Denmark 23 years ago, and now we work out of uh, 10 different countries in Europe and UK. As a CMO in your company, what is currently your main marketing focus? As a CMO at Net Company, the marketing focus at the moment and the market focus, I think those two go hand in hand, don't they, is uh, to become this international company and raise awareness of Net Company in the new markets. We don't have the same maturity in all markets, so we need to get that aligned. So being founded in Denmark, of course, everybody knows us here, but what's it like in the UK, Netherlands, Norway, et cetera. So awareness around the brand, around our solutions, that is the most important at the moment. Can you tell me about a particularly innovative or successful marketing campaign your team has recently executed? We have had another campaign that's been really interesting. We're working with IT and what is more important than trying to create more diversity in IT at the moment. So we're working a lot on trying to attract more women to the business. And we've been doing this with the Danish CSGO Astralis team. So these uh, five female CS Counter-Strike players, uh, we have a partnership with them. And uh, in Counter-Strike, we see that it's free to be a man, to be a male player. This is for free, but you have to pay if you want to be a female player. So if you want a female skin in Counter-Strike, you have to pay for it. And this is just not right. This is 2024. We need that um, that fairness to go through the gaming industry as well. So we made a campaign with the female CSGO players from Australis called Free the Female Skins. And we got like, I think, 5 million hits on that. It went viral throughout the European and worldwide gaming industry that we are fighting for diversity. I think this is so important for IT company. We want more female IT people. We want to get that diversity uh, purpose, but, you know, get that out and living. I think this campaign really hit the spot on that. That sounds incredible. I'm not. I'm not a gamer myself. I'm assuming Counter Strike is a is a game like an online. Yeah, it's an it's a, it's a, one of the biggest games out there. Um, I think Counter Strike is where you see those very big. Uh, um, they have like gaming uh, conferences and you know, tournaments going worldwide, and we have some of the best teams in Denmark. And we have just they just started working with the female teams. And we are sponsoring them and trying, you know, to create this very, I think, purpose-driven partnership with these young female players. I think it's important to show that a 16-year-old professional gamer, she has this technical, you know, she's purpose-driven about uh, being uh, aligned with IT and tech. And she's she might be the next uh, computer science uh, IT person we can hire. And, of course, she's a role model as well for the younger girls. So the partnership is very important to me. And I think we need to show that more women, we need more women in the IT and industry and everybody's yelling uh, for, for more women. So we wanted to do something instead of just saying we need more women, we wanna drive those role models and, and put some focus on them. That's amazing. What are your biggest marketing challenges at the moment? I think the challenge is what I've already uh, mentioned is the maturity level at different markets. I think the most CMOs know this, that it, PR and marketing and campaigns could be easy in a market where everybody knows your name and everybody knows what you stand for and knows your purpose and the, the line of business you're in. But when you're trying to get that scale through other markets uh, to work with your brand when nobody knows you and we are up against... Uh, Companies like Accenture with 700,000 people worldwide who are net company. I think this is the challenge we are facing at the moment. And of course, it's getting easier with digital marketing so we can get that name up and running and everybody else to notice us. But we are up against very big players from pretty much from America. So how do you stay ahead of your competition in terms of marketing? This has actually been very funny to me to work with marketing and communications with Net Company because I entered as the CCU and CMO one and a half years ago and we, we were just very blue. You know, these old school 
and uh, IT companies, it's the same in finance. We see this with, with the consultancy houses. They're very blue, very stock imagery. They do their marketing in the same way. And it's very inside out. It's very much about the solutions. It's very much about the consultancies and everything. So we turned it around. So I think we are getting very much ahead of our competitors at the moment because we are very human centric, very purpose driven in our marketing campaigns. So we put the human out first and we get the solutions. How is our IT solution going to affect you and me? How is this solution going to make a difference across Europe and in the market? So getting a new tax system in the UK, how is that going to affect you as a citizen? This is what we do now. And not a lot of people are doing that in the other IT companies. So I think we are pretty much ahead in the way we attack the marketing campaigns. So in your opinion, what does the future of marketing look like? I think the future the future of marketing is very tied with the go-to-market strategies. It is very much uh, it's getting it's it's getting drawn closer to the to the true business of uh, of the businesses. And I also think that the, the the modern and future marketing is tied closer together with PR, communications, brand. So this is one unity. Well, in a lot of corporates, you see the marketing is placed one place and then you have PR and then you have communications. And I think we need to see this as, as a one, as a unity. You can't say something in PR if you don't have that alignment towards marketing. So uh, a more human centric and a more united um, group entity is, is how I see the, the future marketing. Completely agree. That's actually a very good insight. Um, if you could use one word to describe the role of a CMO, what would be that word and why? I'll have to say digital. Digital. Why digital? I think, this, I think everything that's happening, uh, it's so much easier to work in a global scale because we are so digital now in our market campaigns. I think that uh, with AI, things are getting, getting even more digital in the way we work. We're going to optimize so much more. We're going to work smarter. We're going to work creatively digitally with AI as well. Uh, so I think it, we see that we can actually cut a little bit down on our resources and our FTEs and use that digital toolkit that is available to everybody now and work a lot smarter, work cross markets, very smart as well. And also with our campaigns, the way to get that awareness out and get your purposes and messages out. That is a digital focus we have. I think everybody has that now. Of course, we can see that conferences and roundtables and stuff like that is, is very valuable, but that only comes after you've got that digital uh, always on going. What career advice would you give to other marketers out there? I think the most important advice I've gotten and the most important road I've been following working with marketing is that you need to be purpose driven. You need to get into this core of your business that you're working for. It's not all numbers and it's not all solutions. It's not all uh, Excel sheets. It's not all uh, pipeline and cash flow. It is, of course, as well. But if you want to do a proper job as a marketeer now, you need to get that purpose, the core purpose from the core business out. How are we going to work with that? And how is that going to uh, be uh, present in all the messaging, all the narratives, all the campaigns? Because otherwise you won't stand out. It will be the same as everybody else. And also think more long term. I think this is like, it, it, it aligns with purpose as well. You can't change your purpose every three months and you shouldn't change your campaigns every three months. You have to get that always on uh, purpose-driven uh, campaign alignment in your business that who are we and what difference do we make to people? I think when you get that uh, into your work, you will succeed more and better as a CMO.